All right, you gotta deal with me because my garage is a little bit of a mess, but here's the inverter, it goes from there, clear down to there. MPPT charge controller. Out of the charge controller, I'm running double aught right here. Okay, for positive and negative down to the batteries. Goes down, hooks on through the clamp right there. So if you can get your charge controller to run off of something big, that's a lot of power in. Negative right there. The caps will fit. Um, I just have them off because I'm not worried about it. So let's see here on this side. This is AGS automatic generator start. Okay, right here. There's a little plug right here. It goes for battery temperature sensor. I'm not worried about that. I have a line in right here that goes outside to a generator. Um, you know, just in case it's days like today that uh, you know you're not getting a whole lot of sunshine. I'm gonna skip over here, and this is my all my line out stuff. So this is all right. Hot one, hot two, neutral. Okay, and then your ground can go either here or over here on the lug. This right here I haven't tried. This is solar input. Some of these come with a built-in charge controller, but the terminals are still here, whether they have the built-in charge controller or not. I do not know for a fact if this one has it or not. I haven't even tried. Right here is DC output. Stupid phone needs to focus. There we go, DC output. That can be 12 volt. Be pretty much whatever you want it to be. This is hot one. This is hot two, okay, 80 amps a piece, 160 amps total on 220. This is your input, 100 amp from your generator. You can go as high as 100 amp input, whatever. My generator's not running, but for the purpose of this, I'm gonna shut that off, just so you know I'm not cheating. Okay, so on my output right here, I have a black cord, okay, and on this black cord, come here you cocksucker, I've got an end right here, oh, what the hell she's got going on in here, okay, and it ties into here, okay, on the back side of this, it's plugged into this, and that cord comes up and goes to this giant monster that is a 22,500 BTU 220 air conditioner. Now, I'm going to leave those right there. The garage is a mess, so don't judge me. Okay. Let's see. I don't know where it says it. It's supposed to say it somewhere. Well, I'm not seeing it. Anyway. Well, right there you can see. If I zoom in. That's terrible. There we go. Uh, tells you it takes 208 to 230 volts. It's the closest I can get at the moment to tell on you factually that this is a 220 AC unit and that it is a 22,500 BTU, which is a lot, especially for a window mount air conditioner. So we'll take our cord right here. Hang on. <laughs> Give me a second here. Shit. Oh, that was a fun fall. 
Anyways, I'll do it down here so you know I'm not cheating. Plug that in. Once again, this black cord runs nowhere except for straight to the back of that inverter. Okay. This beat a second ago. Oops, which way are we gonna go? There we go. So, power. So this is 41 outside. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Oh, well, it's blowing air. That's on high, all that stuff. Do I have anything? Well, you can see the bag. She's a blowing. It's cold, but it's cold outside. It's 41 outside, and this only goes down to 64. So, but anyway, with that, one percent, three percent. It's gonna bounce a little bit. So, another thing that you can power, well. You guys, you guys use the microwave from time to time. I got one right here. It's empty. Looks like crap, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to put that on for three minutes. I'm going to do some testing while that's going. So that's on. And it's drawing a whole... Oh, that's going to go down because of the surge says it's at 16 but it's not not for a microwave i'm gonna come over here these stupid little harbor freight motors especially these ones they are a power drawing son of a gun especially when they haven't been fired up in a long time i've got the cord right here the plugs are there um I just found a short extension cord. Oh no, I didn't. The end's taken off. Come on, you bastard. Plus, it's powering everything else here in the garage. Right now, too. The overhead lights. Got a couple computers going. Got a 50, 55 inch screen TV up there. Okay, so that's plugged in. Solar power. And this is the first time probably in close to six months that I've started this. So she should be nice and cold. Percentages when that's going, it's a good idea. It'll keep going down. There's that. Put that back away here in a few minutes. Microwave's still got a couple seconds to go, but three, two, one. So I'm down to one percent, and that's because I got an overhead light on and the TV, the little lights on, it's kind of on standby. Um, one, two, three computers going. 
Uh, they're on standby. They're just charging. And I'm charging a bunch of the kids' little electric 24-volt uh, or 36-volt scooters or something like that. Got three of those charging. A few other things, but... Uh, Anyway, that's the basics of it. So we'll go back here, we'll flip the DC, or I'm sorry, the AC input back on. It's not gonna matter because the generator's not running. But I've got it set so that it's on AC mode through the dip switches, which are right down there. You can, if you've got a smaller generator, you can control your charge current stupid wire get out of the way you can control your charge current so you're not overdoing it on your generator not lugging it all that stuff um just right there it's in invert mode which means it's running off the batteries um the ac input zero load one percent 63 hertz batteries are at 54.4 but i've only got um, a handful of trojans hooked up so i've got enough batteries hooked up that equals two 48 volt banks um i am not a huge fan of trojan but i got them online for a really good deal so I think I ended up paying like 82 bucks a piece for them without core charge or anything. So it's like, yeah, what the hell, why not? Anyway, super long video, sorry about that. Just wanted to demonstrate a couple things to you. Uh, I got a 100 foot 220 cord that I run. Great, it's snowing. Oh, shit. I should put the plow on the four wheeler. But, um, yeah, so that's what I got, and it works pretty damn good. Gosh, I got so many freaking vehicles, man. And there's still two missing. Those two. That one, the dump trailer, the four-wheeler, SUV, this car... I got two more that aren't here. And I got a spare 5.7 Hemi motor sitting right here. Came out of my Dodge. I'm going to rebuild it. I got some more of those Trojans, but they've been sitting for about four months. So I'm not... I need to bring them in and see if I can recondition them. But there you go, buddy. Hopefully that's enough to show you, but... Uh, glad to run some test loads on other stuff if you need or want.